girl Spotlight Chanel and we are back with another interview right here on The Real Spill 90.5, the station with the most flavor. I'm excited about this interview because this artist is from the crib, like me. Y'all know I'm gonna let y'all know I'm from Miami every chance that I get. But this artist has already made a name for himself. He has over 500,000 plays on SoundCloud alone, over 10,000 followers across social media, and 700,000 streams on YouTube. Y'all, we got Bushy B in the building. Bushy B was popping. What's popping? What's popping? What's good? <laughs> How you feel? I feel good. Excited to be at FAMU? Uh-huh. I actually got like, like 8 million streams. 8 million? On like streaming platform, but we ain't gonna do all that. Oh, look at you. <laughs> I gotta get my math up then. <laughs> so you in Tallahassee, that's like seven hours away from home. Mm -hmm. What brought you into town? And I really, um, I've been planning on coming back up here every time I come to Tally, they show me love, uh, especially fam. So I was like, man, I'm getting back active with my own career, so I need to make a stop. Mm -hmm. You know what I mean? So I like reached out to you. I seen you had some motion. I'm like, okay, let's do it. Lots of motion going on. Lots of motion. <laughs> okay, so for the people that don't know Bushy B, if you were introducing yourself to someone that don't mm -hmm. know you, how would you describe yourself as an artist, your sound? I'd say, man, it, it, my sound is like deeply rooted in Miami, mixed with a little bit of um, Caribbean. You know, I got a lot of family in the Caribbean, so, you know, deeply rooted in the South in Miami and the islands. That's all it really is. Yeah. Where'd you get the name Bushy B? Um, growing up, man, my name was Bush. Well, like middle school, my name became Bush when I started playing sports, football. Mm -hmm. He used to call me like Lil Bush. And then like when I started rapping, I'm like, man, I can't go with Bush. Mm -hmm. There's too many <laughs> other things going on with that. So I was like, um, Bushy B. Billion gave me, actually gave me that name one time in the club. After we took a shot, he was like, Bushy B. Mm -hmm. And that was it. You feel me? Okay. So what was it like growing up in Miami? Uh, growing up, man, I always watch interviews and they be like, well, how your childhood was? And mm -hmm. People always be like, man, you know, the same old regular, but nah, man, growing up in Miami, you know, it, it was fun, man. Childhood always was fun, man. Growing up, seeing the cars, seeing the events, seeing the money, mm -hmm. you know, sports. Um, it was always fun, man. You know, everybody had their struggles. Everybody was in their ghettos, but I love my childhood. You feel me? That's what's up. So you played football and basketball mm -hmm. all the way up until high school. Yeah. What was it that made you say, you know, I want to put the ball down and focus more on music? And to be honest, man, I ain't like going to practice. Like, <laughs> I ain't really like going to practice. So I actually stopped in like 10th grade. I had, I was at Kara City High, 9th grade. I went to Shamanah Madonna in Hollywood to play sports. And then I left and went back mm -hmm. to Kara City. You know, I went back mm -hmm. to the hood, you feel me? <laughs> Enjoy life. So not only did you focus on mm -hmm. music, but you also, you know, went to college. You mm -hmm. got a degree in criminal justice from Florida Memorial University. It should have been FAM, but, you know, we're not going to get into that. Um, <laughs> yeah. So I know a lot of time with music, artists go to school as like a backup plan. They don't really have, it's just, you know, the people, your family wants you to go to school. Fast, fast. Did you ever dis have a plan for your degree or was it just something, you know, just in case music don't work out, I got this to fall back on? Man, in all honesty, man, I really went to school to keep my mom quiet, you mm -hmm. feel me? Because she was like, man, you got to do something. You got to go to school or something, get a job. Mm -hmm. And I tried getting jobs. I never could, like, work for nobody. Like, mm -hmm. even though it was, like, little jobs, like fast food, warehouse stuff, but I couldn't work for nobody, man. I always mm -hmm. had a vision of something bigger for me. Mm -hmm. So I, like, I went to school, but while I was in school, I... I got back with the music, so it was like right on time, gave me time. Mm -hmm. I got four years to get this music pumping, you feel yeah. me? So I ended up doing both, and I'm glad I made that decision, though. That was a good decision. So you met up with Iceberg while you were in college. How mm -hmm. did that happen? Um, a classmate, man, a dude that went to school with Florida Memorial with me. I, um, we kind of grew up together. We always bumped heads in the city, man. Rest in peace, my homie, man. 4-3, that's who introduced me to Bird. One time we like at the school, I told him I rap. He said, yo, slide to the live house store, Bird got a store, you wanna meet you. So I ended up going to the store, man, playing some of my music, Bird heard it, and we've been locked in since then. Like, invited me to the studio, mm -hmm. I've been there every day. I just popped up, like, <laughs> pulled up on every day. Okay, 
So um, ever since you decided to reunite with music, what would you say your, your journey has been like? Uh, it's been very exciting and it's been very, um, I don't want to say, because it, it wasn't hard, but, you know, especially being under Bird, like, they put a lot of, um, you know, like, you got to be, you got to be hard. Like, man, mm -hmm. this dude, like, a pioneer for Miami music, you got to be hard. Why would he pick you? You feel right. me? So it's been, like, uh, a lot of proving myself. But at the end of the day, man, I'm me, you know, I know I'm the GOAT, so I'm straight. Facts. Yeah. Okay, so you know, music is constantly evolving every day. You know, something could be in tomorrow, well, today, and mm -hmm. then tomorrow it isn't. So, know. how do you, um, I guess, stay on top of what's popular, but still staying true to yourself, remaining authentic? Uh, to be honest, man, it'd be a lot of people come out and stuff, man. I don't even really listen to other people, I don't really mm -hmm. listen to a lot of music. Unless it's like some old uh, something like that's really direct connected to me, like mm -hmm. if my homeboy rap or something like, mm -hmm. I really don't really tune into a lot. So that's how I keep me. I listen to a lot of like um, reggae music. Uh, mm -hmm. I listen to everything, country mm -hmm. music. My playlist crazy. Like, <laughs> it is. That's what's up. So with so many artists, first of all, Miami is a huge city, Fact. and we have so many artists coming from Miami. With so many of y'all trying to do the same thing. What makes you stand out from the others? What would you say will separate you from everybody else? Um, I feel like everybody got their own story, man. Everybody got their own path. So if if, it, if you just doing you, man, you're going to stand out because nobody the same. And then I always like, I always touch into different cultures. Like I got a lot of um, Latino friends. So I'm like tapping in with them, getting sounds from them. I got a lot of, like I said, again, yeah, island friends, Bahamian friends. I'm, I just went to a Bahamian party. Well, not just Bahamian, just a Caribbean party last week. And the music I heard and I ain't never heard it, but mm -hmm. I, the drums was familiar because mm -hmm. it's the same. So I'll always like test the waters with different stuff. So I'll never be in one box. Yeah. So you're real particular with beats and like instruments and things yeah, like that. Yeah. Do, do you produce any of your own stuff? Yeah, man, me and DJ on the beat. You know, any producer I work with, I don't mm -hmm. never really like to do the, unless I'm lazy, I'd be like, hey, bro, send it in the email. But mm -hmm. most of the time I like to face to face, like let's get in here and cook. Cause it sounds I hear that you might not hear, you feel me? Right. And that, that make the magic. Who would you say is your biggest influence, um, on, or has the biggest influence on your career? On my music career? Mm -hmm. uh, the biggest... It can be personal life, too. Uh, you just my, my biggest influence in, in everything is just, um, like, my family. Like, mm -hmm. uh, I always want to... Um, I'm always thinking of ways, how can I put my family on? Mm -hmm. Like, what can they do? You think, I know they be watching, like, damn... Cuz be always on the road, or cuz doing this, doing that, man, I need to do something. So I be like, man, what can I do to help them? So I'm always pushing to like, find ways to bring them along. What, you say, what would you say your overall goal is? I know everybody want to feed the family, mm -hmm. but when you look back on everything that you've done later, I always ask up and coming artists this question, mm -hmm. what do you want to say that you've accomplished when it's all said and done? Uh, see, right, yeah, I like that. Cause right now, man, I don't even like, I'm mad I did that at the beginning, like, oh, 8 million streams, because I really don't really check the stats, man. I just be going. So mm -hmm. at the end, I just want to be able to reflect and, like, just be amazed at what I did. I don't mm -hmm. even really want to set too many milestones, because I think that's, it's good, but it then it, like, it um, put you in a box. I just like to go. Mm -hmm. Like, I just go. I don't really like to be the long-term planner. I used to be. Mm -hmm. But I stop like long, like five, ten years from now where you see yourself. I'd be like, nah, man, because nobody predicted 2020. Nobody mm -hmm. predicted that everybody's life to change. So right. I just like to go in the, in real time. Do you have any dream collaborations we would like to work with? Oh, yeah, man, all the time, man. I got to, um, I just read, I DM'd him, man. You know, I'm kind of like mm -hmm. a... <laughs> I don't know if I say standoffish, but I DM'd um, this dude Sizzler, man. He like a legend from Jamaica. And I did a song inspired by him, so I DM'd him like, man, OG, man, I really want you to. I just told him I want to hear it, want him to hear it. So probably him, 
My, the dude I was fixing fans in my house broke my heart and told me to do a Gregory Isaac pass. That was like another inspiration for me in music. I didn't even know he passed, but um, a lot of people I want to collab with probably passed that I don't even make music no more, but I'm willing to work with anybody. I like young artists. I, mm -hmm. If they reach out to me, I'd be like, what's good? I'm still young, but I like the new up and coming artists. Let's do it. Mm -hmm. So oftentimes when people speak about Miami as a culture, especially when it comes to like businesses, it could be an artist, mm -hmm. it could be like a business owner. They talk about how Miami isn't really united as one. Nobody, people are scared to support others because they don't want to see that person bigger than them. Yeah. What are your thoughts on that? I don't know, man. I feel like, uh, I don't, cause I don't want to just put that on Miami. That might be mm -hmm. everywhere. That might just be a thing. But um, mm -hmm. I feel like if if you got something going, just keep it going. And eventually somebody going to see you. And you're going to be able to do whatever you want to do. Uh, you just got to keep going. Don't worry about it. If crabs in a bucket, all that, mm -hmm. man, just do you. That's it. Because at, at first, man, when I started, man, it was people doing that to me, man. It was right. Older dudes that used to rap from my hood started dissing me. I'm like, yo, I don't even, <laughs> right. like, I don't really even know you, dude. But um, <laughs> it was cool, man. You just keep going, man. Eventually, I ain't never even seen this guy no more. So mm -hmm. I just kept it going. Okay, so let's get into the music. Mm -hmm. The last project, the last big project that you did was Blues Boy 2, right? right? Really good project, by the way. Thank you. Land of my, um, it's Land of the Choppers. That one, yeah, the the, um, the instruments, I heard it in that one. The beat, yeah. everything just, just flowed on that one. Yeah. Um, tell me a little bit about that project. Um, I'm going to start with that song. That song, man, I actually did that with this dude named Architrax. Mm -hmm. Like, we was in there. I said, man, I really wanted to get dramatic. Because on that song, I had a clip at the end of it. Like, um, it's a flood going on in my neighborhood, like, where I'm from. The drainage system not good, so when it like rain a lot, lot, everything flooded, man. Your house flooded, everything like the so. Blues, right? Um, in the back blues, so mm -hmm. I put that on there just to really give you an in depth look of where I'm from. But now the project, um, it really I really couldn't do all I wanted to do with it, man. I'm mad about that because it happened at end of 2019, December, mm -hmm. so next month. It was on 2020, mm -hmm. so mm -hmm. like I couldn't really shoot videos, but mm -hmm. I felt like I couldn't get the world that project for real. But musically, I, that was like a great project for me. Like I reached, mm -hmm. I worked with a lot of different artists, like Major Nine, Twelve Lin, DJ Screech. I worked with JT Money. That was like a big thing yeah, for I me. Like my mom liked JT, my old mm -hmm. boy liked JT. So I'm like, yeah, man. I, I really stamped myself with that. I think. What would you say is your thought process when it comes to creating music? I see that some artists, mm. they write the rap out first and then they listen to a beat. And then some, for some yeah. it's the opposite. So what is your thought process when you're creating your music? A lot of the time, man, see, because I don't never really write it. I don't never write it. So mm. I, um, I, I, just, I, got, I guess I got a good memory because I just memorized the whole thing while we creating it. I walk off from the producer, you probably think I'm doing something mm -hmm. else, but I'm in the back memorizing my rap. Like mm -hmm. so when I come back I'm ready. Right. I always I always come back and be like, yeah, I'm ready. Be like, you ready? Yeah, I'm ready. I got it. <laughs> That's all I do. I just memorize it. That's talent. Thank you. I can't even remember what I did yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. So I know you're currently working on building your own label. Mm -hmm. Blue Planet Music Group. Planet Blue Music Group. Planet Blue Music. Planet Blue Music. Oh, I got to mix it up. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Congratulations on that, by Thank the way. You. So what kind of artists are you looking for when it comes to that? Um, to be honest, man, see, because as me coming up under Berg, I've been with them like the last five years on the Live House Music Group. Mm -hmm. I began like, to learn the business and even how to treat artists, how to work with other artists as, um, as a boss. So I'm really, one thing I'm going to say, man, because... Uh, even before I had did it officially on paper, man, I was working with artists. So I'm gonna say, man, those people lives, these, these real people. So you can't yeah. play with people lives. You can't play with contract games and all that. Mm -hmm. Me and Bird never did that. Me and Bird was handshake the whole time. Plant money being exchanged, but it's always was handshake. Mm -hmm. But um, 
as we come with artists, man, I'm gonna just work with whoever hungry, man. I ain't really, if you talented and you really want it, it's all on you at the end of the day. Mm -hmm. That's that's what you want to do. You feel me? If you want to get in this game, let's run it. And I'm I'm gonna be behind you, whatever I could do to help. That's what it is. Okay. Will you be working on any projects of your own while doing that as well? Um. See, I'm putting out a new album. I don't really want to put the date because I'm still working on it. It's called Planet Blue. Okay. So I'm really trying to um. I'm kicking the door in with the label with that, like Planet Blue Music Group album called Planet Blue. So I was I was really just starting off my own path like that, mm -hmm. cause we always been independent. Like I never been signed to nobody. I never got no big advance from nobody. It all been mm -hmm. my team, me, and we going. So I I just wanted to keep that going. Okay, what about visuals? We got videos coming. Yeah. Vlogs. I know a lot of um, artists are into vlogging now, like, you know, giving fans more of a um, of them. insight. Yeah, Yeah, man, I'm, I'm always, because I got to build a team, man. Mm -hmm. I got to build a team more and more of bloggers and um, videographers. I started working with um, uh, people who, like, direct videos. Like, I, I grew up with this, this girl, man. I, I see her do her thing. Shout out to Countess Brown. She also a designer from Miami. She designed clothes. Mm -hmm. So, man, I'm about to start working on videos with her. I'm just, man, I'm working, man. I know mm -hmm. it take a team. You can't. Before, I was trying to do everything by myself. Right. And I'm like, you can't do that, man. It's only so far you could go with that. So mm -hmm. I'm like, man, let me just build a team. Okay. Well, we are definitely excited for everything that you got coming. Thank you. We can't wait to see the music. We can't wait to see the artists that you signed. Hey, I like this, man. I can't wait not to cut you off. I like. Mm -hmm. I can't wait to see more of this. This like. Mm -hmm. I like this. This is nice, right? Oh, we here. don't do nothing small around here. Okay. Everything I do is big. <laughs> so you, I don't yeah. know what you thought you was walking into, but I don't play like that. We yeah, gonna man. do everything is big, it's clean, it's nice. For sure. So. That's going to wrap up our interview. Do you have any shout outs you want to give? Anything you want to say? Message to the fans? Man, shout out to everybody that's grinding. Shout out to the crib. Shout out to Miami. Shout out to Florida Memorial, man. <laughs> I done walked on Tally Land. <laughs> I did it, y'all boys. But nah, man, mad love to everybody up here, man. Anybody grinding, man. Blues boy, Planet Blue dropping soon. Y'all be on the lookout.